Hi, everybody. Uh, my name is Professor Matthew Watt, and I am your instructor for Art 165 Art Appreciation Online this fall 2018. And I'm making this short video to demonstrate how I'll use Cobra Learning to organize the course. First off, we're at the home page here. You'll see there are two kind of columns. This one on the left uh, contains this first widget, it's what they're called within uh, COBRA, for announcements. And I'll make an announcement at the beginning of each, each week. Sometimes I'll make announcements during the week. And the announcements, well, it contains important things that I want to bring your attention to, specifically due, di due dates or any changes or anything like that. So the first thing that you should do uh, when you log on is check this announcements for any updates. Underneath that is my teaching schedule. You'll see uh, when I'm in class and uh, most of what I do here at Parkland is teach studio courses. Uh, so I teach studio courses to art majors, art and design majors, and these are uh, the courses that I'm teaching when I'm in class. You'll also see a list of my office hours. That's when I'm here in my office and available to talk with any students. Uh, aside from just live office hours, I'll also offer uh, one online office hour per week and uh, look for announcements about that coming up. Below this is the general college syllabus. If you're new to Parkland uh, and you haven't done so, please take uh, some time to read the general college syllabus. It essentially lays out the policies and procedures of being a student here at Parkland. On the left column, you'll see the attendance widget. You'll see I can see every student in the course. You will only see your name. But this is how uh, COBRA keeps track of when you log on. You're required to log on three times per week. And this is a participation, participation grade. So um, you'll see uh, how your attendance is being logged as the course goes on. You'll see a calendar right now, it's blank, but uh, come Monday, you'll see uh, some items in here, and those are the upcoming due dates for things. Below, uh, drop and withdrawal dates and programs of study, that's more general information. Uh, the thing that you'll need to pay close attention to is the content tab. Everything that we do in class is in the content tab. And when I click on that, I'm taken to the table of contents. First thing is the syllabus. Uh, so click on this and carefully read the syllabus uh, so that you understand the policies and procedures of the class. And then go to the table of contents. Let's look at week one. That's the first module. Uh, inside of week one are seven things. I think by the time you get to this, there will be eight things. Um, but everything that, you'll, that you're required to do uh, week by week is here. Uh, so the first thing is a uh, link to the first chapter of the textbook. Uh, this will take you to the external MindTap website for your uh, ebook, for your online textbook. Um, and you'll read the first chapter, you'll look at flashcards, and then you'll take the first chapter quiz here. Those are the first three things. Uh, this is a link to, or an external link to, I think, YouTube, which is a screencast that uh, explains themes in art. Uh, then you'll see a document about themes in art, and then you'll have the first discussion. So everything that needs to be done is, is right here in one place. There are other tabs here. Some of them you really won't have to pay attention to, like discussions. Well, every discussion happens inside of the table of contents. If you wanted to click on this tab, you could see the discussions in a different way. Uh, the Dropbox, uh, there will be uh, three short written assignments, uh, and you'll be uploading these, uh, these documents uh, via the Dropbox. Um, but again, they'll have direct links within the uh, table of contents too. Uh, grades, of course, you'll be able to see grades uh, as things are marked. So that's that's a tab that you'll be uh, clicking on. Um, rubrics, you probably won't need to 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 worry about that. That's that's for me. Uh, this link for virtual classroom is how you can attend online office hours. So it's just 
a way for for you to meet with me via um, the, the screen here. So if you have a webcam, uh, we can we can essentially meet that way. And again, would there be a direct link in the comments so and a couple of ways to do that? <laughs> I uh, should explain kind of how I'm going to use um, Cobra Learning to organize the course. Um, so I look forward to working with you uh, this semester. Thank you.